Welcome to Odoo Advanced. In this lesson, we're going to see how we can automate the purchase of goods with reordering rules. Reordering rules allows you to control bills and products received. This way you know what you need to order and when. Then buyers can negotiate and confirm your purchase orders. After this, your inventory workers will receive a control list of products and bills recorded by your accountant can be compared to your purchase orders and receipts. Reordering rules reduces the amount of work you have related to purchases. These rules are based on your inventory levels and Odoo will automatically create a request for quotation if your set threshold has been met. So let's see this now. Okay, so here we are on our main Odoo dashboard and I'm going to go ahead, jump into the inventory application, create a new product, and on that product I will add some reordering rules. So I'll go into inventory, master data, products, create, all right, and uh, my product will be branded mouse pad. Now let's be sure our other settings are correct. So it is a storable product. I'm going to add my sales price, which will be 20 euros, and the cost will be five. We'll go to my purchase tab here and add a vendor. Now, I must add a vendor for the reordering rules to apply because uh, Odoo needs to know who to purchase the products from. So I'll go ahead and say I'm purchasing this from Azure Interior, and it is five euros. Save and close. Save this. Now let's go ahead and create some reordering rules by clicking on this button here. Okay, click on Create. Now I can add my rules here. So I would like to say that I want um, a specific minimum and maximum quantity to have in stock at all time. So when Odoo creates the request for quotation, it will be based on the maximum quantity that you would like to have on hand. So in this case, I would like to at least have 10 products on hand at all time. And that RFQ will be initiated once you've gone below your minimum quantity. In this case, it will be five. Okay, so we'll go ahead and save this and see what happens when we create a quotation from one of our customers who would like to buy a branded mouse pad. All right, so we'll go into our sales application, create. All right, Deco Addict will be buying this product. This branded mouse pad. I will have a warning here that says that I do not have any in stock at the moment, but it's okay because our reordering rules will take care of that. They would like to purchase six of this item. Okay, I'm gonna confirm this sales order. Now let's see what happens when we go into our purchase application. Purchases. All right, I've noticed right away that I don't have the RFQ just yet. And that's because this is based on an automated scheduler which runs only once a day. So if you would like this to show up immediately, then you need to manually run the scheduler. So to do that, we can go back into our product. Okay, look for mouse pad. Oop, our branded mouse pad. Okay, I'm gonna click my reordering rule, open up the rule and run the scheduler manually from here. Now, if I have multiple rules, I can also run uh, the scheduler for all of them by going to operations and run scheduler. So that's an uh, easier shortcut for you. Let's go into our purchase application. And I see right away that our purchase order has been, our RFQ has been created. So I have my branded mouse pad and a quantity of 16. Now I notice that 16 is more than the maximum quantity that I set on my reordering rule. And that's because this is taking into account the six that I have already sold. So the six that I need to deliver. And that way, once I have delivered those products, I still have the tin on hand. So I'm going to go ahead and confirm this, receive my products, validate. I will apply all reserved quantities. Okay, now let's go into our products and see what we have in stock. So I have 16 purchased, 16 on hand, and 10 forecasted. So the 10 forecasted takes into account that I've already sold six. So now we can go back to our sales order and confirm the delivery. Okay. Check availability. That will apply some reserved products and validate. Apply. All right, let's go back into our product one more time. Now we see that we have 10 on hand and 10 forecasted because we have no other sales orders for this product.
And that's all for this video. Thank you for watching.